So it should be over here in this area somewhere, but like the wiki is not very clear about it. You died a lot, Loco, that's why? If you die in human form, the world tendency changes? World 1 is currently pure black. The primeval demon is on the balcony in 1-3 before the bridge in the bus room. The prime evil demon is on the balcony in 1-3 before the bridge to the boss room. This is the boss room right over here. New subscriber detected. That's a big sword. Hey, thank you, Ekaminski. Welcome back. So up here? Oh, this is not the right boss room. It's weird though, how there's like game mechanics that aren't explained at all, right? Maybe they are explained somewhere, but I can't... I don't know. I feel like I've been pretty... Uh, good at discovering. Wait, so this is not 1-3. This is 1-2. How is this 1-2? Isn't Inner Ward 1-3? This is the boss room of 1-2? What the fuck? It's clearly 1-3. It's the penetrator room? Index starts at zero? Okay. All right. Climb two flights of stairs. Take the narrow stairway to your site. There's no stairway here, guys. I am so confused right now. Loco, wrong way. You need to go back to 1-3. Bro! Which is... <laughs> Why not use the name of the teleportation thing? <laughs> How do like if inner ward is not one three and the king's tower is not one three either? I have no clue what one three means. It's at the end of the inner ward loco. So this is where I died repeatedly to the three guys. To the spare guys. It's this area and then to the left somewhere? Just before the dogs turn left? <laughs> The, the dogs are way back, guys. I did this run like a dozen times today when I did the penetrator demon. Okay, a dozen times is me being generous. So I consumed one of those blue-eyed thingamajigs and I instantly had the world tendency change to dark. That's pretty wild. Or to like pure black. Man, these guys are so insane.
If you die as human, it's shit. Right. Oh my god, come on, man! <laughs> how is this 1 3 though? I don't understand. I don't understand how people will look at this teleportation site, the King's Tower, and call this 1 3. I don't get it. I don't understand anything anymore. <laughs> the world tendencies are confusing. And the way people communicate about safe points and travel points is very confusing as well. It's the end of 1-3? Yeah, but it's 1-4 though. Because now I'm in between 1-3 and 1-4. Right? Loco, by the stairs, before you go up, go right. <laughs> but in the other Dark Souls games, people just talk about the name of the teleport rather than like 1 3, 1 2, whatever. Why, why did we switch? Oh, I remember this hallway. I've been here. Okay, this should bring you behind a crossbow guard. As you proceed, take a stairway leading down. Yeah, yeah. So one three, it's like one third. It's like the entire space after one three. That's considered 1-3. Like after the third teleportation area. Am I getting it now? Still seems very confusing for no apparent reason, but... This is the wrong way. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't understand. Maybe it's over here? <laughs> yeah, just get it. Oh, there's the crossbow card. I should just go the right way instead. So there's a, an optional boss over here somewhere. And apparently I can use that soul of the boss to upgrade some weapons. Oh, I think I found it. Oh my god, I've been here. What the fuck? I think I have to watch like three Vadi Vidya videos to understand Demon Souls lore. And then World Tendency will make a lot of sense, guys. So far, I don't think I like the concept. Are you guys just chilling here? Is it not even attacking? It's, it seems kind of hard to miss. Hello. What? Bit of a stretch to call this a boss. And there it is, a colorless demon soul. Uh, it was either this weapon or the other weapon that I could upgrade. The journey was harder than the boss. Yeah, that was a very disappointing boss fight. So the boss, the, the boss I'm fighting right now as well is harder because of the world's tendency. So how can I get the... T the tendency has changed! It's now neutral. What? I don't...
Loco, congrats on that epic victory. Glad you emerged triumphant. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch. Oh, I did a good deed by killing the, the Zerg larva thing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this game makes no sense. I mean, I don't know what I expected. That I thought the, the lore in a game would make sense. It's a From Software game, after all. But it seemed pretty basic so far. At least compared to many of these other games. Uh, turns out uh, it... Mm. So if I want to get the other primeval demons, I could go to the other places. Drop down a dozen times. Wait until the world tendency is pure black. And then look for the other demon. Is that is that what you do? What be your need? So this one I couldn't upgrade. Yeah, it was this one. Look. Dragon Bone Smasher plus one. Alright. I might be able to take that weapon to the boss room instead. Um, so there is one, I think, in every world. So I'm currently... I was just in world 1-1. One, one. There's also one in the Stonefang Tunnel, which is this world that I'm in right now. So wait, I just... This feels backwards. Currently, it says my world reputation is very white. So I just... <laughs> now it goes down, or do I have to be human? <laughs> no, it doesn't change. Okay, so I take one of those items. Now I'm human. And now I just yeet myself off of the cliff. It's still literally the exact same color. Loco, you didn't know you were white. That's not what I... Mm. World tendency is displayed after you go to the Nexus for it to update. Oh, it doesn't update in real time. I have to go back to the Nexus first. What the fuck, Chad? I'm so confused. <laughs> it New makes no sense. Detected. Oh, okay. You have to do this seven time. times to go from pure white to pure black. But am I wasting something important right now? Like, is pure white good for anything? Like, do you get any benefits in this game for having a pure white... Like, whatever. Like, world tendency? NPC storylines? I don't care about NPC storylines. Sometimes it can be more than seven times because there are more obtuse mechanics that change it slightly. There's multipliers. I don't think I have to go back anymore to World 2. As far as I can tell, there's no reason for it. I can't believe they had, like, all these woke decisions in the game to change, you know, to, like, type A and type B characters. At least I think they changed. But then they <laughs> did not change the names or these things. All right, I can I can carry. You have a heart of gold. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. Dragon Bone Smasher is a weapon from pure white world tendency. No issues making the world black now? Okay. I almost feel like I'm being trolled, guys. 
I almost feel like this is a full troll and that someone in the chat right now is just having an absolute blast actually watching me waste my valuable resources and falling to my death seven times over. That's two. <laughs> like, I feel like this is a troll, you know what I mean? <laughs> that is three. It's not pure white anymore, it seems. Loco, I don't know. What are you trying to accomplish? I'm trying to find an item that allows me to upgrade my weapon. And I need to kill demons that only show up if the world is a certain tendency. And apparently it depends on the amount of times I have died as a character in human form. Four. I'm just going to do seven times. I have a bunch of these things. I've been saving them up. See, guys? I told you guys I was going to save them. I knew that would come in useful. I didn't think they were gonna come in useful as me uh, yeeting myself off of the cliff. I feel like I might be a uh, Hartnepper, but I don't think I am. Because there's like too many people here agreeing with each other. That was six. We'll do it one more time and then the world should be pure black and I can find another magical demon. Killing Ed will also make the world tendency darker. I need I need Ed to upgrade my weapon, guys. That's a terrible suggestion. Alright. So now I gotta go back to the Nexus. And then back to the smithing grounds. And now it should be pure black. It is. You see that little thing underneath smitting grounds? It is. From the art stone, go into the building where the miners are chucking rocks. From above. That's right over there. To one side is another exit and a crank nearby. I didn't get trolled, by the way. Thank you guys for the help. Okay, um... To one side is another exit and a crank nearby. Activate it. So you can use the lift outside, then ride it to the very bottom. The demon will be there. Oh, it's right there! <laughs> what the fuck is this game, bro? How did anyone find out any of these things? I don't understand, like, sometimes these games release, and there's very obtuse mechanics that just... They're hidden, and they make no sense. Yeah, they were- look at this- <laughs> It's so nasty as well. Alright. I got another bustle. There's also one in 3-2, 4-2, and 5-2. Do I just do this in every single world and upgrade my big weapon? I guess I will. I need 21 of them. And I have 23. I really hope this is not fucking up my playthrough in any other way. Because I'm a little concerned that it is. And before the final boss is impossible to kill because of this shit. <laughs> yeah, do I get the bad ending now? I don't know, man. How do you get the world tendency back to good? So here's the real kicker. From what I understand, it makes the world harder, including the boss. But you can only make the world tendency like better again by killing the boss. 
It returns it to neutral, though, after you kill the primeval. So I've killed one primeval just now. Uh, in one... Three, I think. I don't know. That's also confusing to me. And, um... Supposedly... That also returned it back to neutral, so now the boss fight should also be slightly easier. Killing invaders also turns the world white. Okay, so I had 23. So I guess I do one more, and then we'll go back to the Nexus teleport here, and we'll be fine. This game is kind of strange. Is the game mechanic really meant like this? Or are you naturally supposed to get it done as the game progresses? Because I can't imagine this is the way it's supposed to be. Maybe, maybe if you play online and you face off against a lot of other people, maybe you can invade other worlds or something. And that also makes you like a, a bad person. And then, uh, I don't know. Look at what's going on. D just go with the flow, Siberius. We don't understand it either, really, but... New subscriber detected. Hey, thank you, Thort. Okay. Hey, look. It's pure black now, according to the upper latria so like, icon over there. From the Archstone, proceed New until you enter the next building. Detected. Then take the stairwell up. Thank you, Thort. Uh, for those of you just now tuning in, because I see a lot of very confused viewers. There's items in this game that you can only get when the world tendency is set to a certain amount. And in order to change the world tendency, I have to die in human form seven times over. Or something along those lines. Actually, no, I think it's seven if you go from pure white to... Maybe I don't actually need to use it as many times. I don't know. Anyways. Um, from the... Right, from the first landing, exa via the site, continuing along a linear path until you take a ramp downwards. Oh no, I need to take the stairwell up. From the first landing, exa exit via the site. I don't know if I can get more of these ephemeral ice. I have no clue. Okay. Uh... Continuing along a linear path until you take a ramp downwards Leading to a cage lift. Oh, I remember the cage lift Come on, bro. Stop dancing. New subscriber detected. Hey, thank you, Thor. Okay. Uh. New subscriber detected. Take one down to the swamp. All right, all right. So I want to continuously walk here until I can take one down to the swamp, right? I think it's up here somewhere. Don't I take the elevator up first? Okay. This is quite far away, isn't it? So it's somewhere in that uh, scary area down below. Wait, what? Ah, right over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These cages. I remember those cages. All right. So this leads to the swamp. Mount the boardwalk via some stairs and then climb one more stairway. One side is a dead end, go the other way. 
Oh god, okay. Never leave the boardwalk. Okay, alright. Go down, Savra. Yeah, this place is nasty. The world design in this game is wild. Okay. Climb one more stairway. One side is a dead end. Oh shit, I didn't see it. Nope, 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 don't fall down. One side is a dead end, that's this one. It's this way then. You're unsettled. Yeah, don't worry about it. This place is, is wonderful. Is that... That's a slug invader. Okay. One side is a dead end, go the other way. You will make the same turn three times, never leaving the boardwalk. Once you reach the end, a well-hidden stairway should now be in sight. Is it further up or is it this one? It said make three turns in the same direction. I guess it's the one that leads down. Bro, what the fuck? Take it and find the prime evil demon on a plateau next to a man centipede. Do you think it's this one? This staircase? Oh, there it is! What do you mean a hidden staircase? That was right there! I like how in this area, these disgusting looking things are not as bad looking. They seem pretty friendly actually in comparison. Alright, alright, alright guys. We got another one! Hell yeah! Uh, we gotta get two more. Thank you, Thord, by the way. New subscriber detected. Now we have to do the same thing in the Shrine of Storms. Shrine of Storms is 4-2. That's this one right over here. I just need to die a couple more times, guys. We're almost there. <laughs> this has to be one of the strangest mechanics I've ever seen. Alright. In this place... What was the world tendency? Did anyone see? Okay, I think it's neutral right now. So I guess I'll yeet myself off. New like three times. See if that's enough. Thank you, Thort. Man, Thort's going crazy. Just gifting everyone a sub, huh? Logo, is your goal to 100% this game? No, I'm just one trying to upgrade a weapon. <laughs> I'm just trying to upgrade one weapon to the max. Why are you using it the hard way and not using the shrine? Wait, there's an easier way of doing this, Yugian? <laughs> uh... Oh no, I don't plan on doing New Game Plus. But as soon as we kill the demon anyway... Um... It's going to immediately change it back to neutral. Okay, let's see. Is it pure black? We can see it on the loading screen. 
It's literally the same color still. Local, what can you say about this game? Do you recommend it? If you have a PlayStation 5, I think this is a no-brainer. Yeah, this game is really good. Getting the PS5 is the hard part of the story, though. Oh, I'm wearing headphones. I don't know. Oh, I think it is a little bit darker. Uh, I'm wearing headphones. I'm not noticing any noise from the PlayStation. I can have a Wait, PlayStation 5s are known to make a lot of noise? Oh, I'm not noticing any problems. Just wait until it clogs up with dust. It's fine. Hey, there it is. Wait, is that pure black? I don't think that is pure black, is it? I think it had a little black sparkle thingamajig on it earlier as well. I think that I think that's like one Ah, one more for good measure. <laughs> Let's fucking do one more time just for you know, just for the hell of it. Hey, there we go. I hoovered here this morning actually, guys. It's fine. It's not uh there's not that much dust or a vacuum clean rather. There you go. Okay, back to the Nexus. And then we go back to 4-2. I should probably wear the... Uh... Uh, the Thief's Ring so I don't get killed by the Brute Lords. There we go. Pure black. Proceed to the first Reaper and drop down. Alright. I use a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This thing still hurt, huh? I figured as much. Hello. There we go. Uh, subscriber detected. Yo, Morn, thank you so much. Welcome. Facing the Reaper, take the left path staircase and climb to the second landing. Oh, I think it's this one. Right, right, right. Okay. Climb to the second landing. As you run towards the next set of stairs, you, see you should see a rather obvious illusory wall. If that is considered rather obvious, I have missed so many. I have not seen basically any of these illusory walls. <laughs> what the fuck? This guy has a million health. Holy... This guy is using the wind blades. No wonder he's so strong. Jesus, man. Or Woo. 
I'm just gonna keep using my heals. These heals are pretty much free at this point. Bro, I hit you while you were in mid-air. How did you not get bothered by that one bit? <laughs> I I swung at this guy while he was flying in mid-air and he like took damage and simultaneously also just Okay. I like how it says rather obvious. Rather obvious illusory wall. I think we should just go and kill King Allen. I'm pretty sure I could have already had him. <laughs> like without all these tricks. Anyways, now I'm committed. Bonk. 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 Sometimes he just... Come on, bro! How the fuck did you lie down 17 times when I hit you? And then the last time he's like... Can't do... I don't... I, it's... Uh, <sighs> What am I doing wrong there? I don't understand. Yeah, he just got tired of lying down. He's like, wait a second. I should probably not be lying down. The adrenaline rush. Block loco? I can't block without stamina. <sighs> All I'm trying to do is upgrade a weapon that I don't even know if it's going to be good. <laughs> this might be a complete waste of my time. What? <laughs> what? Like, Wee! I did it, guys. Oh, yeah, now Brute Lord Bro comes in as well. There he is! Enjoying the nice breeze on his tentacles. No, no, Loco! What the hell, bro? Why would you all of a sudden step off, you idiot? Alright! I got another colorless demon soul, baby. You think there's anything else cool in this area? A white bow and white arrows? Alright. And a storied warrior soul. Wait, no, I think I was already supposed to have found that. Alright. There's one more, guys. Just one more, and we'll be done. <laughs> then we have a max out really strong weapon. Oh, the Valley of Defilement. That's wonderful. The Swamp of Sorrow. I love this place. From the third archstone. Wait, it says Valley of Defilement 5-2. And then it says... From the third archstone. Proceed backwards. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what would be the easiest way to uh, yeet myself off of this place? I do think I probably could have actually killed the main boss by now. <laughs> like genuinely. Anyways. <laughs> How did they have a meeting? Where they uh, decided, yeah, this is the game mechanic that we're going to settle on. I feel like I'm cheesing it a little, but I'm not exactly sure. This seems so wrong. I don't think this is a cheese, though. I'm pretty sure this is just the way you're supposed to do it. I don't see how you could do it otherwise. Like, the only way in which you can regain humanity is by using one of those items.
I just hope that in the end it's all worth it, Loco. I'm gonna have a really badass weapon, okay? It's gonna deal damage. I've got a lot of strength, so I think it should be pretty good, but... Loco, what are you doing right now? Detected. Don't worry about it. Loco, I come in to share my resub streak, and the first thing I see is you repeatedly dying. Still a no-death run. I'm trying to change the world tendency, Andy. Thank you for 27 months. Yeah, it's gonna increase my damage output, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter because the boss will still kill me in two hits anyway. Which is the main reason why I have been failing. It's not so much because of lack of damage output, but... How many more times do I do this? Alright, I think this might be it. But I'm also kind of lazy, so I'm gonna just do it one more time, just for good measure. That way we know for sure that it's fine. Yeah, so you basically have to, like, be in the worst, like, world tendency possible before you can go and get the items. But it doesn't update until you teleport back to the Nexus and then back to the area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bosses do get more powerful, apparently, as well. Anyways, from the third archstone, proceed through the level backwards until you leave the shack area with the filthy woman. I remember that that lady. She was wonderful. <sighs> yeah, there was this lady we came across. God, this place sucked, man. Ah, oh. what? This is the poop swap, it is. So wait, it's a it's a invader over here. I didn't realize that they could just randomly invade, but maybe that's also because of the world tendency. Probably. Yeah, these guys were very annoying. I'm very glad I'm done with this area, man. Oh god, okay. I guess I'll try and fight the lady, huh? They still hit pretty hard. I'm looking for a wonderful woman. I think she's right over there, but I don't actually know. Yeah, I think it's because of the world tendency that randomly we found some new, uh... Wasn't it over here? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I might just die here. I think she was over here. Wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There she is. She's wonderful, dude. The filthy woman. You'll wind up on an island with three giant defiled ones. One is a black phantom. Wait, wait. Do not follow the island path. Instead, continue straight into the swamp where you'll pass some mosquitoes. And you'll proceed. You should see the primary... What? Okay, so I remember these. These lads right over there. Instead, we go in this direction over here. Oh, it's over there in the distance. I can see it already. Look, I can't believe we're back in this shit. Yeah. You're not wrong. New subscriber detected. My character's poisoned again. Bonk. 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 Thanks, Loco. I'm loving the non-standard StarCraft 2 Pro games on YouTube you have casted the last couple months. Thanks, man. I've been enjoying them a lot as well. Thank you, Soldo. I've got a good old classic StarCraft game today, though. Scarlet versus Cure. Best of three series. It's about an hour-long video. 
Thank you, Soldo. All right, guys. There's the last one. And this should give me some nice rewards. There it is. All right. We pick up the talisman of the gods. We teleport back to the nexus. So each world has a primeval demon which will appear in specific locations only in pure black. Killing them will receive or raise the, the respective world tendency by plus three. Okay. You can only kill the one primeval per world per playthrough. And it doesn't have a 100% drop rate? Shoot the game, not... Wait, 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 wait. So it says, killing them will raise the respective world tendency by plus three. In the event that the primeval does not drop a colorless demon soul when killed, should the game not save itself, the player may try to immediately load his or her save file and kill it again, repeating until one is obtained. I did get them, yes. This method is very uncertain. However, as the game chooses when to autosave, it's wishful thinking at best. <laughs> so you can just be shit out of luck? Bro, this game... <laughs> this game is... Uh, Alright. They might be 100% in the remaster. Yeah. Alright. Anyways, we're done. Very nice. Streamer luck confirmed. I would certainly hope so that they're 100%. Eddie! If it be a blast. Yes! Yes! There it is, boys! A Dragon Bone Smasher plus five. This is a big ass weapon. It skills with strength. I've got 40 strength, deals a lot of damage. Pretty good. Okay, I want to run with this shield, the dark silver shield, and then we'll just get as much armor as possible. Plus zero is 200, plus five is 280. Well, I mean, it's 80 more damage. That's a lot. It's a significant improvement. I don't really know exactly how the scaling works, though, because the bonus, I think it, I don't know. It is a significant improvement, I think. Just tell me it's a significant improvement. Come on, man. No need to roast me like that. Just tell me I did a good job. Tell me I didn't just waste my time. <laughs> Loco, you did good. That's all I wanted to hear, man. This one time in my life. Hello you did again. right, Loco. Thanks, guys. See, Heart Nepper? Are you seeing this? Are you taking screenshots? This is how it's done. Even though I think you're correct. You have a heart of gold. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to the boss fight Hello again. and uh, get destroyed. <laughs> Instead, we could have used this time to learn the boss fight. That's what smart people would do. So not me. New subscriber detected. What's going on, Dunkow? No, I think it was actually pretty good. Unironically. I have a proper bunker now. Alright. 
Mana items? Don't need those. We're gonna go get the King's Tower and we're gonna continue fighting the final boss in the game. <sighs> I think it's the final boss. I actually don't know, but I think so. It feels like it, anyways. Okay, let's see the bunker. Okay, I should probably try and not get hit instead. Okay, it does hit pretty hard. We went from, what was it, three-shotting these to two-shotting them? Was it two-shotting or three-shotting earlier? I don't actually remember. Maybe it was already two-shotting. <laughs> that, uh, that was a heavy attack. Okay, that was my light. That was a, that was a two-handed. What? Oh, I hit the wood. Nice. Anyways, that was a two-handed overhead swing, which is just barely not enough to kill him. I accidentally hit the wood. No, it'll make a difference on the boss. It's like 50% more damage, I think. Which is quite a bit on the boss. I guess it's 40% more damage, right? Math? Oh my god. Can't believe it. <laughs> 